I'm not sure if you caught it at the end there, but Joe Rogan said that the millions number sounds better, effectively admitting that he has an anti-trans agenda, because if you inflate the numbers, then it further proves your point that gender affirming care for trans youth is bad and it's growing because it's this business as matt walsh alluded to listen if you're actually worried that doctors pediatricians in particular have a monetary incentive to transition children which there's no evidence for that but if you're worried about that then join me in calling for the complete decommodification of u.s healthcare. do you support medicare for all where it's free at the point of service and the government foots the bill oh you don't support that right so you think that healthcare should be a profit-based industry where the goal is for hospitals and insurance companies to make money and not to provide people with treatment. Because if you were genuinely concerned about the trans industry that these imbeciles always talk about, then you would support the de decommodification of healthcare, but they don't.